Hello one and all. Welcome back to our channel from Open Pen Innovation Lab, Bangalore. I am Divya, one of the managing partner of this firm. Our topic for this week is hashtag and natural language processing. You can see why social media is so famous. Because apart from posting your pics and giving updates on your personal life, it is also very conversational tone text is there unlike the traditional media. So that's why it is more closer to a wider audience. So what is the significance of hashtags around? You may see a lot of ruckus happening around all because of a single tweet or a post which is in the form of text. So can we see uh, and, and can we manage the disaster happening? Absolutely yes. Only with little context of the text can we understand the meaning with fewer words that what is the intention of the tweet? Absolutely yes. Can we determine the common sense behind any kind of uh, tweets happening there? Still more work is to be done. So we'll see in the videos what we can offer. This week's topic is hashtag and NLP which stands for natural language processing. Like, share and subscribe. We post new content every week on Friday. Text in social media platform is unstructured and has a more informal and conversational tone than text from conventional media outlet. Hashtag is a special feature in social media handles such as Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. It is a label used on social media site that make it easier to find information with a theme or specific content. It is used by the users to link a tweet or post to a certain topic. Hashtags whose occurrence is very high can become the trending topic. Trending topic are visible to every user and this make the topic get the attention of a wider audience. With respect to business, it makes easy for people to find your social media content, increase social media engagement and attract new customers. The traditional or classical approach to solving natural language processing is a sequential flow of several key steps and it is a statistical approach. Any NLP learning model, there are a series of distinct tasks taking place such as data pre-processing which involves removal of unwanted data, feature engineering. This is the most time consuming and crucial step for attaining a good performance for the NLP model. The objective here is to have a numerical representation of the text data. Learning to use machine learning algorithm which can be classification. Predicting output for novel unfamiliar data. Here are some of the useful Python libraries to get started with your natural language processing journey. We will see what these libraries help us to do with it. One is Natural Language Toolkit, WordCloud, Spacey, Twark, Vader and Tweet. NLTK stands for Natural Language Toolkit. It is a suite of libraries and programs for symbolic and statistical natural language processing written in Python programming language. It provides easy to use interface to over 50 corpora and logical resources such as WordNet along with a suit of text processing, libraries for classification, tokenization, stemming, tagging, parsing, semantic reasoning and much more. This is word cloud. This is a data visualization technique used for representing text data in which the size of each word indicates its frequency or importance. Word clouds are widely used for analyzing data from social networking websites. For generating word cloud in Python, modules needed are Matplot library, pandas and word cloud. What are all the advantages? It's very easy for analyzing customer and employee feedback and it helps in identifying new search engine optimization 
or SEO keywords to target. Why SEO is required in the sense for your websites to appear according to the uh, Google ranking in the first page itself, you require this SEO. It plays a very important role once you host your website. And what are all the drawbacks? It cannot be used in every situation and data needs optimization for context. Now we'll speak about Spacey. It is an open source software library for advanced natural language processing written in Python and Cython. Cython is Python language with C semantics. It is designed to build information extraction or natural language understanding system. It is built for production use since they are very robust and easy to deploy. Now we'll see what is Twark. It is a Python library and command line tool for collecting and archiving Twitter JSON data via the Twitter API. Its purpose is to archive and study digital trace of the data within the Twitter APIs. Twark hashtag commands will extract and count the hashtags in a tweet data. Then we have something called as Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner, also known as Vader Sentiment. This is a lexicon and rule based sentiment analysis tool that is specifically attuned to sentiments expressed in social media and works well on text from other domains. This is mainly used for polarity of the tweet or handling the negative sentiments. Then we come across something called as Tweepy. Actually, this is uh, the Twitter API enables programmatic access to Twitter in unique and advanced ways. We can have access to its core elements such as tweets, direct message, space, list, users and much more it can offer. So Tweepy is the Twitter library for Python which is used by students, researchers and developers for interacting with the Twitter API. The only thing is you need to have a Twitter developer account for this. If you are looking into working in other programming languages such as Julia, then you can visit this website. They have many NLP packages. Even Wolfram Mathematica has quite interesting functions to work with natural language processing. You can see an entire country or a place being polarized onto both extremes because of a single tweet or a post written in the social media platforms. And we can see the review of a product behind or uh, how to handle any kind of negative sentiments and all with the hashtags and natural languages involved with that. So for all these things, natural language processing comes into the picture. And if it is included with the time series data, like at what instant of time, what is the pattern of tweets happening in the social media across the globe? Yes, it gives a lot of valuable insights. I guess this was more engaging with the audience since hashtags on social media is a global language. Let me know what is your favorite hashtag trending right now. Like, share and subscribe. We post new content every week on Fridays. Thank you.